Monroe family tonight is devastated after a fire destroyed their home and took away their pets. Cheryl Eby and her boyfriend Merrick were fostering 16 cats, and the cries actually woke them up during that fire. But as Nick Monticelli reports now, they have no idea what to do. I want you to take a look at the damage of this home, or I guess what is left of this home. As you look around, you can see bowls, pictures. If a gym wants to go to the left here, we can show you their kitchen, the table, the chairs that are flipped upside down. There's even a couple of computers down here in the rubble that is now outside of the home. But despite this devastating image here, this isn't the worst of it. Seeing this fire at its worst is truly the way to understand what a loss this is. Seeing the aftermath is just as bad. All of a sudden just heard this horrific cry. It was so just piercing. Merrick and his girlfriend Cheryl live in this home. That piercing sound was one of their many foster cats screaming for help. They jumped out of bed and got Cheryl's two grandchildren out. My grandchildren's okay. Thank God they're okay. And I just, oh I don't my. know any of the silver lining. That my kids, grandkids are okay. Then Merrick went back inside. And I got low and I was trying to call uh, the animals. I was trying to call them uh, and the only one, I only saw one and it was like 15 feet from me. And he, I think it was Nova, and he just, he wouldn't come. And he just did a turnaround and, and scurried back in somewhere. In all, 16 cats and one dog passed away. Monroe Fire investigators think an electrical problem is to blame. And worse yet, they don't have any insurance. So they don't have a clue what to do next. They're just trying to figure out who we need to talk to. Is this salvageable? Can I apply for some sort of personal loan and try to fix it, if that's even feasible? In Monroe, Nick Monticelli, Local 4. Well, they could certainly use some help at this point. Cheryl's daughters created a GoFundMe page for donations, and there is a link to it on our website at clickondetroit.com.